but um, I don't know. Ah, spill. And the water spill. Oh. And the water, cold water. And mum games, so you need a knife. Why is this thing always giving me numbers of uh, updates and such? It's getting annoying. What's up, people? Let's try antigens. We are playing mum games of the finest order. Just when you thought it was going to be Paper Mario, huh? Just thinking it was going to be Paper Mario, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. bunch of uh, fan noise because it's like 28 celsius so yeah all right let's make sure our stuff is right here and uh, all right what was this last one Got no uh, music stuff queued up. Oh no. No. That's all my royalty free stuff. There we go. Alright. Uh, so we're going to be doing Memento Mori. And uh, I've actually played this. Many, many years ago. Many years as in a... Being like three. No, four. Maybe five years ago. Is that possible? Yeah, it's possible, right? However, that was before. Doing a... The melancholy of a... Streaming and recording. So, uh... Let's see how we get on with it. Should be fun. Should be similar to, um... Secret Files. So there should be some, uh... Might be some uh, very funny jank uh, voice acting here and there. But it should be a good time though. So, uh, let's see how we get on. Hope you guys are well as ever. Uh, we'll get back into the other things over time. It's just uh, again, I had to do like 50 different uh, takes. Well, not 50, but like at least six or seven attempts just to get transcoding options. It's getting annoying. Uh, we may uh, test some other platforms again as well, just to do some comparative data. But uh, obviously the pick, the player is going to be uh, doing the videos that I've been doing more and better on the, uh, why am I crackling? On the PimpTube and other discoverable platforms. Uh, uh, streaming is pretty much 1% of what you have. Uh, Unless you're playing like, you know, uh, Roblox or Dead by Daylight for a living, which I'm not able to do, so here we are. And I'm addressing the ghetto, ghetto green screen by using my underlays, which I've had before, I haven't used them in a minute, so. I'm gonna be doing in vest weather, it's vests, it's vest weather, 28 Celsius. Might be dropped down a bit now. Two fans going, like a boss. 26 now. Whew, I was meant to start a little bit earlier, but I was thinking, uh, should I just make some videos instead, or should I just do a stream? And I thought, you know what? There's a few very important people waiting for, hopefully, a stream. So, give them a stream. I haven't done two in, in the space of a week and a minute, so. Let's do it. Oh, we're gonna have some fun for a few hours, or, as long as we can pass out the heat. Uh, yeah. Alright. Let's watch the intro. I remember his paintings being stolen and some other things I ain't gonna spoil in case. But yeah. Should be good, everything should be working. Inglorious 4K. I don't think we do HDR recoloring in this. I think we should be good. I think. Oh. I've got to pause the music. 
Oh, we do do HTL color in this. Uh, uh. Deadlines. Dr. Abamchikov, where do you plan to put your groundbreaking new analysis method into practice? Are you in touch with the Metropolitan Museum? As the whole project would never have got off the ground without the support of the Russian government, we will of course start here at the State Hermitage Museum in Petersburg. Hey, Shell. Welcome to some mum games. More mum games. I'm listening. It's just as we feared. How much time do we have? Just in time. Little. Too little. Can we stop him? No, not anymore. Others will come. But not at once. That could be enough for us. All right. But we must not draw attention to ourselves. I understand. An unhappy coincidence. It must look like an accident. Yes, the sea would be suitable. Be careful and remember, those who are without doubt will be rewarded. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Mum games are good. Oh man. That's what you call an intro. That's a proper mum game intro. <laughs> I'm good, thanks, sir. I'm good. Uh, hot, but otherwise we're fine. I'm gonna have to do it in vests. So, uh, yeah. Alright. Let's do a new game. So yeah, again, this is a game I completed years and years ago. I don't remember everything to it. Much like a Tim Busker, same sort of deal. Two I have not played. Um, might check just volume here. What's this visual? Okay, I don't want to mess with that. Juicy card, turn it over. <laughs> Tessin, 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 Tessin. No. Well, why? No, I don't think so. Anything else? I spill my drink. Uh, that should be better. That should be good. Uh, so yeah, you can see a little sentence here. Everything's maxed. Playing uh, in 4K, incidentally. I think everything's set good. Yep. Yeah. That should work. I tested everything. Should be no problems. Oh gosh. I pressed cancel, that's why. I didn't press well, save. Why not? I'm your guest, so I won't decline. Alright. Let's try that again. There we go. Let's try those volumes. We'll start a new game. And we will get commerced? Immersed in Mum Gameage. 8 a.m. Monday. Lyon, France. Every sad story has got its beginning, its time and place, its tragic characters and its puppet masters. Our story began with a phone call. As every good story does.
break in terms of service right away. I think we're in control already. My fan, shut up. Your fans, I should say. Of which I have many. Well, I've many been too. All right. Let's see what we got. Let's see what's going on. So right clicks are uh, look, left clicks are interact. If I remember rightly. Let's Some see. private notes and newspaper articles. Well, this was a good one. Van Klept was a broker in forgeries. We got a switch there. Uh, Don't think we care about your police badge. Try poking your curious nose where you shouldn't one more time and... <laughs> nice, eh? Van Klept wasn't very pleased when we confiscated six million dollars worth of stolen paintings. Six million? Oh, I've done the right, wrong, wrong mouse. I've clicked the wrong mouse. <laughs> Alright, let's put that mouse over there so we don't click the wrong one. Is that all of the stuff that's on there? I dropped into your old department nope, and the more. colonel told me that he's heard good things about you from Leon. I'm proud of you, girl. When I see you again, you must tell me all about it, Dad. We... We never had the opportunity to have that chat. Oh no. The father pass? Alright, so once it's... Oh no, there's more. There's more. I think. Even though you're off to see the big wide world, try to remember occasionally whose fruits you stole from the fridge in the lab, and don't let yourself fall for any French men. Russian men are the best. Good luck, Sergei. <laughs> the rest is not worth mentioning. Girl, Sergei. Right, that's all the notices on the notice board, I think. Yeah. Uh, what else do we have? Nest up all of the notes board like this. Is the light on already? A light switch. These things are used to switch lights on and off. Ah, oh, right. Oh, save electricity, saving the grid. Okay. Awesome towel and uh, sandals, by the way. Very beach style. So I think we've got a phone call. Let's just look around first. Oh, also. Uh... Let's save. These old testers, I think. Later. Ah. Ah, okay. Do I go over that one? All right. An opened CD case. Hmm, the CD is missing. Isn't that always the case with CD cases? I think we don't have them much anymore. An opened CD. Okay, same thing. Getting dressed might be the best thing to do right now. Well, the lady's got kind of a point, I guess. We got some nice uh, stuff going on here, actually, though. Okay, I don't think I was able to play in it in uh, this resolution or anything else back in the day. Uh, we've got some shadows going on here, reflections. That's pretty nice. Oh. We've got a decent apartment, I'd say. Permanent pen. Nothing special. By the way, I don't want to sound overly dramatic, but I need to make it to the office on time today. Hmm. <laughs> I don't think I should run around half naked with a permanent pen. Damn. We tried. We tried. There is a CD in the disk drive. Wonderful music. 
for work, for rest, for everything. Since the computer will not boot up anymore, the CD is unfortunately quite useless. Ah. Uh. I really don't like this. scratches on CDs, and definitely not on a CD I borrowed from Muriel at the office. I need a CD cover to have the CD stored safely. Ah, that's a puzzle then. So we've got the case over there. Okay. There is a CD in the di The computer crashed a few days ago. Now it won't boot. But why have it repaired? I have a computer at the office, and I'm there most of the time. Hmm. Woman makes a good point. Again. It's best to do things while you're naked, I find, generally, in video games. When I moved in here, this bookcase was nearly empty. I filled it up in no time. I've got a thing about books. Hmm. Oh, she's taking a book. A book called The Tales and Myths of Antiquity. Greek gods, heroes, monsters. I loved this, even when I was a little girl. Ares is a fierce and competent warrior, but he doesn't always win. In the battlefield, he sometimes retreats before Pallas Athena, who prevails by her wisdom and serene consciousness of power. A woman coming out ahead of a man? Definitely not where I work. That's some uh, good lip syncing in this as well, as you can see. High quality. When I moved in here, this bookcase was near. The same book if we take it again, a different one. A book called The Tales and Myths of Same thing. Ares is a fi a woman. Alright. Well, we can skip stuff, that's okay. Alright, sexist books confirmed. Uh, I guess this is where we get our clothes on. This is where I keep my clothes. Quite ordinary items. No princess robes or shorts with built-in holsters. Let's get them beautiful clothes on. Oh man. <laughs> I was expecting something a little bit more uh, exotic for some reason in that lovely uh, bathing outfit. That's alright though. It's appropriate for our work, it seems. Now let's take this. An empty CD cover. Hmm. I wonder what I can use it for. Maybe that CD we tried to grab earlier. I have to like, how do I select items in this? Do I have to like, select the item first and then put it on the thing? I'm not sure. Oh, she does it automatically, I think. Good call. The album Muriel lent me. I have to give it back to Muriel, or I'll have one less friend. That means... none. Damn. Feels bad. Our first puzzle solved, I think. Do I have to combine it? A CD cover. It's empty. Oh, okay. Whoa, Shadow. Inverted. It's a good album. How do I... Uh... Ah, I just click left click it. There we go. Boom. The cover and the CDs inside it. Oh, look, look, look. Maybe it's the developers. <laughs> oh, Shadow. CD. CD. If I open the thing again, can I rotate it still? No. Yeah, I can. Oh, cool. Nice. Alright, that's puzzle's done. Do we want to take our pen? A permanent pen can always be put to use. There we go. We have a permanent marker pen. What's this, charger? I didn't see that till now. Phone charger, maybe? My cell phone's charger. The phone has a battery that's long past its glory days. 
The charge. Oops. Let me skip that. Charges seem better days, but I need that shit. Is what she said basically. I think. My cell phone's charger. Lately, I've been using it almost permanently. What happens when you don't upgrade that shit? Uh, oh, box of documents. This box holds my nightmares. Unpaid bills, reminders, as if the paperwork at the Interpol wasn't enough. Yeah, Interpol, eh? The news and the film noir. Not much of a choice. No satellite. From the scene near DeWitt Clinton Park, the man was identified as Anatoly Abramchikov, a Russian scientist lecturing at a scientific symposium in New York. Police are investigating the case, but so far no signs of violence have been found. In the next item, we'll be talking to Professor Yuli Yachenkov, great work friend and colleague of Anatoly Abramchikov's. He'll be on the line from Moscow. Oh my lord, Abramchikov. That Abramchikov dead. I talked to him a few times when I was in Petersburg. He was going to lecture here on his new analysis method in two weeks. This is a really bad day. It is indeed. That's some uh, rough luck. Alright, so we went to the window already, didn't we? Yeah. So that dude is brown bread. Um. What do we need to go next? Jacket. The jacket Dad bought me when he came to see me here for the first and last time. But that's long in the past. Um, can we go upstairs? Oh, pictures. A picture of Hermiona. I found her outside our house in Petersburg. Poor Hermiona. What is that? Cat? Doggo? Oh. There is a bedroom up there. When I first saw the flat, I knew I had to have it. A flat with two levels was always a dream of mine. Life goals, man. Life goals. Okay, is there anything else? Before we, uh, essentially head out here. Oh, we didn't check the phone, did we? We did not check the phone. Or more the bin. Always check the bins. When I feel like writing, I need a waste paper basket near me. It's where most of my notes end up, and it hides the ugly socket. Notes and dreams, it would, it would seem. I don't see the point moving the bin around in my apartment and revealing the ugly socket behind it without any reason. Ah. Uh, oh, maybe we need to charge, do we need to charge the phone now? Okay, hold up then, let's see what's going on. Maybe we're gonna. All right. A home phone with a message recorder can be useful. The time when I would give my cell phone number just about to anybody is long gone. Too bad I didn't get the idea sooner. <laughs> Too many female creeps. I'll call you up. You've got one new message. Austin Kovic here. Call me immediately. I repeat, immediately. As soon as you get this message. And Svetlova. Get ready to give me a clever explanation for why your cell phone is off all the time. Use your cell phone so that we don't have to go through the identification procedure. Oh boy. Sergei Vasily Ostankovich, Colonel of Russian Militia. My former boss at Department 12, Art Forgery and Theft, before I transferred to Interpol. Certainly a man with no sense of humor. Quite clearly in top form again. And the fact he's getting in touch with me here in Lyon doesn't imply anything good. I really have to find my cell phone and call Ostankovic immediately. Just notice this is actually 2008 it was released actually. So I could actually put this in the retro cargo because it's completely a... Uh, well, not, not, not anyone's likely to find it anyway, but... You know. Uh, might as well. Uh, 
Okay, no more. The, the it is done. As much as I've tried to resist being mixed up in all that category, but well. Uh. Well, theoretically, I could call Ostankovich from this line, but his instructions were quite clear. Cell phone only. This is by a Czech developer, by the way. Alright, so we need our cell phone. Where's our celly? And our bike background noise. Awesome. There's a bathroom behind this door. Thank God. I just can't do without having my morning and evening shower. Oh, she's a two shower a day kind of lady. Okay, okay. We can dig it. Let's um check our pockets. Have a bike. That's where my cell phone is. My cell phone. Sadly, only with a few contacts saved. Ah, doesn't matter anyhow. Most people I have to contact are colleagues at work, and I can reach them over the office phone line. And of course, my cell phone is flat again. Oh, damn it. The battery is really no good. How am I to work without a proper phone? She used to call me on my... You used to, you used to. All right. <clears throat> Well, this phone's too dead for any hotline bling, so... Uh, right, so I guess we're gonna have to... She said to move the bin for the plug, didn't she? So I guess now we've got a reason to move it. Hardcore puzzles right here at the moment. Look! Big time. And there's a socket right behind the bin. What a surprise! What skill, what luck. Uh, do I? Uh. There we go. Now we just Good. bang the phone. The on charge it. is in the socket. <sighs> I don't even know why I bother unplugging it and putting it away. The phone should stay charged for at least three days, but at the moment I need to recharge it twice a day. That's what they all say with that whole three days business. Eyes. Good. We'll see what that terrible battery can hold. Hour later. Well, the phone could be at least partially charged now. I guess we will. Oh, wait, there, why can't I see? No, no. no. My cell phone with the broken battery. It drives me crazy. Uh, uh. The battery is the same piece of junk as before, but it might just last a few phone calls. Why it's so short we can't even call while it's uh, connected to the wall. It's one of them phones. Uh, how do we use it? No, what's she doing? Use it, right quick. Uh, is it Diego I wanted to call? I think it was Ostakozhenich, right? Pizzeria. Hmm, pizza. I'll have some when things calm down. <sighs> it would be a pity to eat on the run. Hey, Jay. Ostakozhenich, right, cool. Cool. We'll uh, call goofy. We'll call goofy things first. Uh. This Philip humble. Uh. I don't understand why I haven't deleted his number from the cell phone. A week ago, he made such a jealous scene that I never want to see him again for the rest of my life. Also, is my uh, stuff showing up in the, the chat showing on the screen? I missed it. Uh. Hold on. Not sure if it's shown up on the screen or not. Uh, is 
Has it been covered? I don't see it. I don't think it's been I think it's been covered. That's weird, it's not much in there. Like that. Just trying to see why this isn't showing. It's showing there but not in the chat window. Weird. Okay, now we try it again. That's not working, is it? No, no, let's fix that. Uh, let's try to anyway. Which it says offline. That's normal actually, though, I think. Um, and so change their thing. Alright, give me a second. Test. All right, there we go. It's working now. I fixed it. Thought nothing was coming up. All right. Awesome. Uh, let's continue making prank calls, or trying to anyway. Max. Oh. She's Hi, calling. I'm lecturing right oh. now. If you need something, leave a message for me. Thanks, Max. Oh, she just put the phone away. All right, so it's only uh, lost to consciousness now. We call. Fine. Someone left. You must have time. He on picked your up hands quick. In Leon. Why let the ringing of a cell phone bother you, right? The guys in the technical department of Interpol, especially Jennings, are unfortunately unable to repair my cell phone at the moment. Normally I'm accessible all the time, of course. What happened? Everything I tell you now is strictly confidential. It stays between you and me. No colleagues, no departmental memos, no recordings, nothing. Do we understand each other? Well, if it's nothing illegal... Don't make me angry, Svetlova. This matter is too serious. Last night... The security system in the St. Petersburg State Hermitage Museum was out of order for several minutes. Fortunately, the outer perimeter remained functional and its cameras didn't record anything unusual. That's a nuisance. But if nobody entered the museum, then nothing could be taken either, could it? I personally examined the place. My initial impression was that nothing significant was missing. But I've got a feeling that something is. No one could give me a good explanation as to how both the main and backup security circuits stopped working at the same time. If everything is in its place, then it could only mean something's been exchanged for a fake. However, there is nothing on the outer cameras, so the culprit and what he stole would have to still be in the museum. How about a thorough search of the place? Are you mad? Do you understand what a scandal it would be? A week after they were praising me in the press for my fine work front page in our most popular daily and with me about to be awarded the medal of honor no we must keep it secret we must find out whether something has really happened without an official investigation that means i want to have max durand here in st petersburg as soon as possible but how can he help you there if you can't even support him officially he won't be able to do anything listen to me closely Sure, you're working for Interpol now, and no longer for Department 12, so I'm no longer your superior. But I still have enough influence to have you lose your job. You better not forget the interests of your motherland take all precedence. Therefore, be so kind and don't question my decision. 
Get Durand for me. And if he's hesitant, tell him that I have his file on my table. I can still change my mind about our mutual cooperation. Remind him I could have him arrested and locked up for a very long time. Not to mention that sometimes terrible accidents can happen in prison. Damn the battery's flat. Now of all times. I wonder how they would like it at the technical department when I whack their heads with that junk of a battery. God knows when I send the application for a new one. Damn it, Ostankovich will go ballistic if I don't get Max. Without a working cell phone, I must try to contact him from my office. Well, shit. That guy's got shit on us, apparently. And shut up, fan, as well. Guess what? Heading out now. Also, let me uh. Well, I know it for crashing or anything, but let me save anyway. Leon, my current residence. I haven't seen it at all yet. Most of my time is eaten up by work, and to make things worse, Ostankovich calls. Okay, I guess we're going to work, aren't we? Oh, we're going to the museum. Now we're going to the museum? Where the thing took place, I guess? I visited the museum when I first came to Leon, and I go there regularly to relax. But I've got lots to do right now. I might visit it tomorrow. Guess we're going to Interpol then. Oh yeah, call from the office. Yeah, yeah. Right you are, dear. Right you are. I forget. Oh, I'm in control. It's got some nice clean effects and stuff in this stuff. Nice 3D, clean 3D. Could clean anti alias and uh, and stuff. And it's Max. If all the flags of the Interpol member states were here, you wouldn't be able to move. There are almost 80. But some of them are... How should I say this? Random chick walking Not in. all that cooperative. Theoretically, tourists could sit around here, if there was anything to see. And if the security didn't send them away immediately. It's a random lady. British flag there. German, what's that one? Is that Spanish? Is that Italian? Uh, that one uh, looks like French, I think. Could be wrong. Brigadier Damien and Brigadier Chief. Chef? Chief or Chef? Chef? Remy. He jokes all the time. Hmm. Damien Neville. I can't remember him or his colleague Remy ever being in a bad mood. <laughs> Hi, long time no see, Damien. Have you been on holiday? Nothing escapes you. I was on the Canary Islands for a week. Very touristy, but uh, at least it was warm. <laughs> I would go again right now. Uh, I was wondering, do you happen to know Muriel? Petite, dark-haired. She works here at the telephone exchange. I, uh, I haven't even noticed anyone like that here. Hold on. Doesn't she mean the one who comes here for her cigarette break? Come on. She looks totally different. Why are you asking, anyway? She went on holiday at the same time you did, and she was in the Canary Islands as well. She wouldn't tell me who she was going with, so I was thinking that maybe, by pure coincidence, you met there? No. Uh, I can't remember her. I haven't seen her around. Well, how could you? When you say that you don't even know what she looks like. Well, <laughs> uh, Remy, have the Germans arrived? Excuse me, miss, but uh, we are expecting a delegation from Bonn. Germans? Are they really supposed to come today? Uh, yeah, yeah, yes, of course. Uh, I'll explain it to you straight away. So, uh, chatting about the girl working at the telephone exchange, has to wait. Too I'm about sorry. trying to change the subject. Sure, Damien. Of course. Yeah, you got a... Uh... 
exposed. Try to change the subject quickly there. Tactics. All right, that's them too. <laughs> let's uh, let's get into work, shall we? Before our boss chews our ears off even more. All right. Oh, that guy just dusted off in the elevator. Scumbag. Even wait. Let's get some snacks. There are two things that keep me awake during a long night working overtime: sugar and chocolate bars. So basically, both sugar. A detailed list of all the departments in this building. Hmm. Let's check the bin. Without a single scrap of paper. Security checks everything all the time because of possible attacks. Not different people in there. That was a chick outside. I think it was her anyway. What's this? Nothing there. It's the same dude again. All right, I guess we're all about that lift now. Lift controls. If I want to go to another floor, I'd better push the button for it. Lift controls. All right, all if right, I... all right. Don't stop with your smartness, lady. We've we gathered that much already. I do. No worries about social distancing, because uh, it's empty. Oh. Which floor do we want? Office, laboratory. Let's go for the office, I guess. Up we go. I must oh, get Max. I hope he's at home, or at least in the town somewhere. So this dude's got stuff on both uh, ourselves and Max. That basically looks like he can uh, get us to do what he wants us to do. Otherwise, we can like lose jobs, or even and any risk to any uh, threatened, threatened certain things to happen in prison if we end up in prison as well. Like it's empty. I don't know. I haven't found time to have it filled yet. Stuff without consent, shall we say? So, uh, yeah, that's we should always get that filled, especially in this heat right now. Get your tanks filled. Just another month full love. of work, and then another, and another. Oh man. Develop a pictures times. A short review of a book written by my ex-boyfriend. I don't know why I haven't thrown it away. Sentimental. Which, according to Charlotte Renier, the head of the art theft department, were the result of strenuous effort of her subordinates and herself. <laughs> that part always makes me laugh. I worked on that case alone. Mm. Skills. A journalist approached Muriel in the street and asked her what she thought about adding new member states to the European Union. Her response was not exactly breathtaking. It hangs here just to make her happy. This one is about a theft in Madrid. I could have gotten the paintings back if I hadn't made one stupid mistake. I put it up here to remind me not to do that again. This is a description of a successful operation. Paintings worth almost three million dollars were recovered and three wise guys are awaiting trial. Wow. Success. Interpol spokeswoman announced a week ago that the paintings recovered, but it now looks like she was mistaken. There has been no response to our recent inquiries. I enjoy success, but remembering mistakes and not repeating them is more important to me. And this was one of my bigger mistakes. Mm. A dull report assessing work effectiveness in our department. Renia insists that everybody reads them regularly. It does look dull, doesn't it? I sometimes put down comments here so that I don't forget. I forgot to give back the CD Muriel lent me. She'll kill me. I've had the CD for two months. Yeah, that's liberty borrowing, borrowing people C CDs for it's two months. It's a reminder to give Muriel they... back the CD she lent me. That's why we don't borrow things anymore. Or is it loan things? We don't let people borrow things anymore because they, they never see it again. I still haven't seen my copy of the uh, Xbox copy of the uh, 
Metal Gear Solid uh, Substance. Never to see it again. Uh, annual reports. Our yearly assessments. Most of my achievements are filed under the result of working in a tightly knit team of the very best people. <laughs> Interesting how our successes are a result of teamwork, and our failures are the products of individual efforts around here. Mm, a bit like streaming. Okay, uh... Computer, the phone there as well. My work phone. Does this have a hotspot shortcut? It does, tab key. Um... Wait, a tab key? Do I have tab key set on my mouse? I don't. I could sell it as a button on there, but that's all right. Okay. All right. Um, so this has hotspot uh, shortcuts, so it's handy. A common electric socket. We have the same thing back in Russia. I should bloody hope so. An ordinary PC hooked to the internet and to the local network. Okay, so I think that's all the lookies. That's, uh, oh. Here you can find documents for various cases, regulations and directives. However, most of it is accessible online. Therefore, that's redundant now. Everything is on Google. They got it all in Google Docs now. They don't need that anymore. Uh, can we check our computer email maybe? Let's check our emails. Read messages. Oh, the death of Professor. Oh man, I gotta read. Oh man. It's reading time with the integer. Everyone's favorite part of the streaming culture. All right. <coughs> hmm. Charlotte Renier, uh, Ren Renier, Interpol DV9 SWOA, uh, the death of Professor Abramchikov. Colleagues, I regret to inform you the tragic death of Professor Abramchikov. It's a terrible loss, particularly to those who, of us who knew him personally. At the time of his death, Professor Abramchikov was working on a prototype fluorescent X ray machine. Should you to come in service with us once it had finished preliminary testing at the Her Hermitage Museum in Petersburg. I'm sure you will all be as disappointed as I am to learn that this will now have to be postponed. His new device was a testimony to his genius. Four times as sensitive as our present machines and mechanically... Oh wait there, she doesn't read it does she? I, I can't right click on this now read it can she? Yeah, wishful thinking. <clears throat> What does sense of present mechanical uh, machines are mechanically so simple it could be used outside a laboratory to detect f uh, forgeries on site. This would have revolutionized our work, enabling us to go through an entire gallery in a few weeks. Work on this project will be delayed significantly and it is unlikely that a prototype will be with us anytime soon. The loss of Professor Abramchikov is a blow to us all. The world has lost a truly great scientist. That's all devote a prayer to him. Charlotte. That was the guy in the news report, that was the guy at the beginning. And it shows him, like, do get a knife out on this stuff to probably kill that guy. Maybe they said I want, want to, uh, it to be revealed that there's some forgeries at the said museum. Uh, Peter Jennings. Communication about the change in inter internal directives. Uh, gosh, the fans are making some lovely noise for you guys. I'd like to advise everyone concerning a frequently misunderstood procedure for reporting problems with your office PCs. Uh, as long as your computer is capable of browsing the internal network, please use the report form on our departmental homepage. You can contact as soon as possible. Use the phone only in emergency. Unnecessary phone calls holds up our technicians and delays and delay the repair of you and your colleagues' computers. Thank you for understanding. Have a nice day. Passive aggressively. It seems I'm standing in for Pierre again. I should get it done as soon as possible, or the boss will go wild. Oh man. Alright, we can't have that. Can I drag this as well? Oh, that's pretty cool. An actual scrolling system with some uh, 
thingy going on as well, um, perspective on it. Delaware, could you do me a big favor? I had to go and see my mother again, so I'll be away from Lyon for two, possibly three days. Friday, if something arrived at the lab that I didn't have time to analyze it, could you please do that for me? I'll pay you back a hundred times, smiley face. It's strange, but a special department of Belgian police found a track on someone, track of someone. He claims he's got the original Brugge girls Flemish proverbs hanging in the, oh my, Gimol Darian in Berlin. Uh, he's trying to sell the painting. They managed to get a photo of the painting and they want us to compare it with a certified photo of the original to see if they are identical with the Joker's trying to sell forgery. If it's a forgery, they'll lock him up, of course. If not, which should really surprise me, they'll follow him and try to get to other stolen paintings. Also, he's done anyway, isn't he? I know this sounds incredible, but unfortunately, they only have the photo of the painting offered for sale, and they insist on our analyzing it. I told them this is not the way things are done in the 21st century, but they would not listen. Compare the two photographs, please. If you difference, the more differences, the better, of course. You know yourself. We need at least three differences from fault. Faultlessly, right? Uh, faultlessly, right? Sorry, right now. Uh, highlight it with a permanent marker. We got our marker from home already. You can leave it in the lab afterwards. Just write me an email what you found out. That's not my chair, by the way. It's making that noise. That's in the game. I hope by chance that you had some troubles with your cell phone battery lately. We all know how long such things can take to be handled in our technical department. So I have a, have have already had a chat with Jennings. So when you order. The new battery he will be reminded to get it to you asap provided you help me out but i'm guessing you will by the way you should have come to the last barbecue of jennings you were invited would have been a chance for you to get get in with it would have been a chance for you to get in him no get in him no you bell i guess a chance for you get to get get in him no you bell it's supposed to be a chance for you for him to get a chance for you to let him know you better or something along those lines that's just um, yeah, that's messing my head up. You know, it can be helpful making friends at the office. Thanks, Pierre. Blah 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 blah. All right. Max Watches. has cancelled more meetings than I can count. Right now, he's busy working for the University of Toulouse. Next time, it might be Paris. Oh. Okay. Max Durand. Subject letters. Hello, Laura. Lara. I know we were supposed to go to the exhibition tomorrow, tomorrow, or the day after. Unfortunately, I can't make it. I have to stand in for a sick colleague, so I have a couple of lectures to do that at the Toulouse University. Uh, I'm leaving now, and I'm going to spend three days there. I think I might get some rest there as well. I'll phone you when I come back. Max. P.S. Uh, I'll have my phone switched off as much as possible so that nobody disturbs me. If you want to tell me off or for not calling you, you'll just have to wait until my return. Wink. P.P.S. Uh, your ex-boyfriend called. Isn't he a little bit mad? He shouted at me because he thought you left him because of me. You better speak to him about that. By the way, you have really strange taste in men. <sighs> so, oh my gosh. Oh, it's a bunch of readies. All right, no, not really. It's more like data. Okay, yeah, Spain, yep. Yeah. English, Espanol, France, Portuguese. It's a lot of languages. That's the guy that was uh, killed. He only speaks the Russian, maybe. Deceased. Scientific, cultural, environment, heritage, foreign professor. Berkeley, you have always team holds for patents in the area of radiation, radiation induced resonance spectral copy. Spectrof, spectral coffee. Uh, spectrof coffee. Spectral coffee. Key. Damn it. Uh, I must have spoke English then. He's in the University of California, Berkeley. Yeah. A couple of languages there. English from French. English, French, and German. English and French. English. Charge of technological equipment and suppose internal employees. This is the guy that's got uh, an axe over our head, apparently. 
Uh, Commander of 12th Department of Petersburg, Petersburg Militia. Charge of artwork secur security, especially at the Hermitage Collections. Post for an award for his efforts to protect and preserve Russian cultural heritage. Trying to protect that by having us investigate quietly. He wants to get his uh, prestige and reset his uh, level and level up again. Russian, English, French, Latin. And then Durand. Arsenal address with Lamar, France. He speaks French, English, Russian, and Latin. And it's pretty serious. Categories of offense art traffic and art forgery. Ah. Uh, that's why you might know about art fakes and such. He specializes in doing such things. And we specialize in finding out such things. We don't need to write any messages just yet. Um, that's the, 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 the emails and such. So we got to do the. Uh, Work for uh Song the guy Max is somewhere at the university in Toulouse and his cell phone is off. Great. And I need to speak with him as <sighs> soon as possible. That sounds like a perfect job for my friend Muriel working at the switchboard. And that's exactly why she works there. Besides the note about the C D from Muriel, I can't see anything important. Apart from the the, the, the job that we gotta do for the guy, remember uh, Lara? Don't forget that. Uh, let's save. Uh -huh. Alright, how do we, uh, I guess we've got this that works in the lab, isn't it? I think there's anything else we can do here. Right now. Uh, lab. Liberty. Oh, this heat's killing me now. Not literally, obviously. Oh, but what's that? Oh. Someone's finally coming to do Monsieur Bouillet's work. But it's just not him. He asked me to help as a friend. That's how things are in life. But you wouldn't understand that, Demer. You'd have to have friends first. Oh. Friends? Oh, right. You mean those people who keep telling you things you don't care about, and then make you do their work? No, I really don't have friends. Oh, God, how could I have missed so much all my life? <laughs> He's a guy, isn't he? This is a guy. Now, how do we do this friend's work? Pascal Demer, the head of the lab. A grumpy oddball. Luckily, Pierre is the only person here who has to work with him. <laughs> Listen, I don't really have time for this now. You want to speak about Abramchikov, I suppose. Oh gosh, I butchered his name. Oh look. Questioningly. Negatively, positively. Questioningly. Abramchikov. What are you talking about? Oh. I find your complete lack of knowledge. Shocking. I'm into that then. Hadn't you heard that your brilliant Professor Abramchikov Oh, the light's dying, isn't it? People don't talk about these things in your department. I... Look, I must have this analysis complete in 40 minutes. I don't have time to give you the morning news right now. My bad. The burning daylight. Alright, there we go. For what it's worth. You can see the heat, the heat stroke in my face. That's pretty damn hot. P.S. Work, which he tossed at me. Not for the first time, and certainly it won't be the last. Ugh. Tell them I'd still be lucky for last a hour only. The 28. This fez has gone up again. Brain's getting zapped. Try and drink some of this cold water. It's 27. Oh, even that's warm. Oh. Come on, Brain. You can do. You can do more. Come on. PS work. Which. Oh, we did that already. This will erase any pen marks. In case I make them where I shouldn't. Oh, I don't see anything to erase. There are no pen markings here. 
P.S. work, which he tossed at me. If this is a forgery, then there must be things that differ from the original. I should mark them somehow. Oh. I've got to find the right painting here. Lot of a uh, is that the same thing? Kinda not. We've gone back again. What am I doing? I'm trying to match this. I think I'm looking for something that looks like that. No. Um. Uh. Is it this one? I think it's this one. This looks like it's a match. Yeah, let's see. That dude there. Nah. Yeah. All right. If this is a forgery, then there must be things that differ from the original. I should mark them somehow. So do we get our permanent marker? And just start. Alright guys, see if you can spot the difference. Uh, is there with the pig the dogs there? White dogs there. Probably there's with a the fish there. That fish there. There as well. That looks the same. I don't know if you see any differences there. Is that guy there? He looks like he's not right there. He's not there, is he? No, he's he's uh, he's cut out the image. Okay. Ignore that. She's cut out the image as well, I think. Yeah. Pigs. I might have the wrong idea here. I can't see much differences, if any at all. Whose foot is that though? That foot there, is that there? It looks different. Now I've got everything I need. Oh. Let's get the job done. The job which Pierre was to do, of course, and which, as usual, I have to do. Oh, I was gonna... Oh, oh. What? Where that leg go? That looks different to me. There's no leg there, is there? Yeah. Like it's the uh, dog. Is that a dog? Having a meal? Oh, I'm sitting at a table. I feel like it is. It's like real life. Is that different there? There's a person there. It's not there. Face looks the same. Feet looks the same there. Can't tell if that woman's there or not. Two pigs. Dude's face, yep. That dude's there. Guys hugging that pig romantically. Yep, three points there, that's fine. Uh, Oh shit, I mean to do so that. So many mistakes. I should tell Pierre. Is that real? I didn't mean to do that. I don't know if that's right. Well, I'd better start all over again. Oh, no. Oh shit. I don't think that was right. I didn't mean to click that one. I clicked the wrong mouse. Right, that, that's, that one's right. Gosh darn it. And there's that one. Can we not get fired if we get this wrong? And there was a third one. What was the third one again? Shoot.
Was there a third one? I thought we did three. Maybe we only did two. That's actually this marks anything you mark. Oh, that's excellent to press, thanks. Alright, cool. Alright, cheers, dear. Alright then. Well, in that case, we will. That guy's face is there, there as well. Two doggos are there as well, that's correct. Pig's face, yep, that's correct. I think that's. One, two, two pigs there, yep, that's correct. Can't see his hand, yes, we can't tell. Guy's hand is the same near the green bit there holding the cloak, yep, that's the same. Same thing on the head. That part looks the same. Uh, doesn't go that far back there. That guy in the background is the same. I don't see any any more errors. Is the fish at the top eating something in the other one? Fish at the top. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. There you go. That's correct. Good spot, Jay. Anyone else spots? So many mistakes. Feel I should tell Pierre. Say this, but the no back sinking thing. I just leave that on because typically it's how it's operating like a completely new thing. But by habit, but if you uh, spot the thing, as opposed to already know the answers, feel free to join in. Join in on the fun. Maybe that's all of it then. Maybe it's three mistakes. Because since she says that. And we only need three, remember, for it to be great this is, as a forge, forgery, as she said. So that should be enough. No need to even find any more. How do we like... Huh. Let, me, let me save for it screws up or something. Did I just screw it up already? Uh. Oh shit. What did she say? Ah, <laughs> uh, no, did she get it done? I think we got it done. I think we're good. I think she said, now that she sent the email, because I can't go back into the view. Perfect. Good job, us. Awesomeness. Our new chromatograph. I hope it lasts longer than that wreck we had before. Can I, I use don't it? think I need to test anything right now. Was it, should we have used yours? 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 What am I saying? Should we have used that first? I guess it's too late now. It's strange you can't see the periodic table around here. You know, up till now, I had thought that only the English possessed your wonderful talent for observation and humor. Ah, oh, this guy's a top guy. Helium gas. That about everything in here. Yeah, I got to remember to use our tab key. So this game does have hot Some spot, chemical uh, agents used for analysis. Fortunately, this isn't part of my job. This game does have a hot spot uh, button. Uh, it's just a tab key. Um, can I uh, change that to my, one of my keys on my mouse? I wonder. I've got about uh, 14 buttons on my mouse. For anyone that's new, I don't think you can change the keys in this stuff. Nah, only the graphics stuff. No problem. Uh, so yeah, we look around with the mouse first ourselves, and then we hit the tab key afterwards. Uh, for immersion reasons. Medical kit. I doubt anything could happen to anybody in this place, but regulations are regulations. Indeed. It's like Twitch Terms of Service. Uh, yeah, we've... that's everything here. They sent the email to, uh... What's his face? What was his name? Pierre or something? Pierre Rodriguez or something? Mr. Do my work for me, I'm on holiday. Basically, oh no, well, to be fair, he's looking at looking out for his mother. 
You can respect that. Gotta look after your mums, yeah? And your fathers. Look after your mummers and your daddies. You only get one. Well, biological, I guess. Assuming your mother or father isn't necessarily the biological one. And then you get more than one, I guess, but you know what I mean. You know what I'm saying. Calm down. Let's uh, send an email. Oh, she can't wait to send an email. There's some nice effects and visuals of this game. Uh, do I need to get the name? I think it's Diego, right? Or was it Pierre? It was Pierre. There we go, favor. Next time you say it's nothing complicated about something, I'm going to fling it in your face. Of course, it's a forgery. I found some differences and marked them. It's on your desk in the lab, Lara. He owes us big time. What's to do next? We don't have a quest log. How do we get this CD to back to this chick? Oh man. I oh, said you whipped at the switchboard, isn't it? Let's try three. Oh, two. Telephone exchange, how can I help you? Hi, Muriel. This is Lara. Have you got a minute? Sure. It's busy today, but of course I'm here for my friends. Anything new? Hmm, not much. Look, I need something. Could you get me through to someone? That's what I'm here for. <laughs> but it isn't CD. one of us. Also, it's not an official matter. It's Max Durand, a friend of mine. He is lecturing at the Toulouse University at the moment. Typical. Of course, when I want something from you, you just ignore me. You think I'd forget my best friend? I've got the CD with me. You know what? I'll send someone to you with it. Lara, you never change. That's what you said last time. I'm sorry, I have to go. Someone has just come in. What about our help? Our best friend just snaked us. Uh, alright. Now what then? Let's call it a lab for fun. Let's piss that guy off down there. I don't think I need anything now. <sighs> That's security. Three or four. I don't think I need anything now. Five, one, four. Technical department. Jennings speaking. Svetlova, SWOA. I need a new cell phone battery. Well, if it goes that flat, try to survive a few more days. Some new phones should be arriving shortly. It doesn't go flat quickly. It doesn't work at all. How am I to do anything with a phone that's no good? Do you know how much I have on my plate right now? And you're bothering me about a battery for your phone? Fine. But if somebody can't find me when they need me and something goes wrong, I'll make sure the department knows whose fault it is. Do we understand each other? Okay, then. Just stay calm. If it's really that urgent, I'll get it to you as soon as possible. I'm just completing the issue slip now. We don't have to argue or send complaints, do we? That's how you handle... I swear. I will people. storm in their office once and... <sighs> okay. <sighs> Calm down. Breathe in, breathe I will out. drink a tea in the kitchen. There Jennings we go. better had bought me a new battery when I come back. Chamomile tea. Ah, look at that, see? Got the new uh, Nokia battery for our phone there. We got one of them. Just keep focused. Nokia get upset at phones. the right time, and I'll get what I need. For example, a heart attack. Are we in control? We in control. Could it be? Finally, a new cell phone battery. I don't believe it. <laughs> I feel like it should be going like. You know, some kind of orchestral. Here's the new Hype battery music. for your phone. Keep the old one if you like. Signed by Jennings. See? Where there's a will, there's a way. There's a Jennings. We owned him by threatening to complain. A cell phone battery. I can't believe it there? turned up. 
Oh, do I have to plug it in the... Oh, she already done it. Nope, she hasn't. Cell phone battery. Let's plug it in, shall we? We'll slot it in. The phone is totally dead now. I really can't make phone calls from it. Right, that's not what they want. Cell phone battery. No, I want to stick it in. I want to stick it in there. The phone is totally dead now. Oh, wait, I what? really. The phone is totally dead now. I really can't make phone. All right, I'm not sure. Uh... I can't put the battery in. Damn it! What's this as well? Is that the same message? I know what the message is. Why would I read it again? Do you want to grab it for any reason? No. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe rotating the phone. Let's the see. phone is totally. We can rotate around. Ah, there we go. J to the rescue, as ever. Get out! It's like real life, this. Uh, beautiful. Brand new Nokia. Wow, that was quick. Ah, seems I should check my email inbox. Okay. You miss old battery. A now. flat cell phone battery. Hmm. Let's also uh, just save. After playing Deadly Premonition, <laughs> uh, like some people to pussy up become save prone. That might be the other one as well. All right. Uh, Deadly Premonition one, the ultimate save prone making game. Gee. Uh, computer. Computer! Computer, Alagato! What? What? Uh, where are we? Read. Oh. Late reaction. Uh, Diego, I'm terribly sorry that I couldn't respond to the email that you sent on Tuesday regarding the translation. I had a week off, and I basically spent the whole time with my brother's family. He lives in a remote, remote village, and, he's, and he isn't on friendly terms with the internet. It was a great talk in Espanol for a while. Uh, unfortunately, unfortunately in Portuguese as well, I think I told you about his wife. Anyway, if you still need the translation, send him the text to me. I'm back now, and you know I'd do anything for you, more or less. Diego. Is this like an X or something? That's a bit dodgy. You know, I'll do anything for you. Alright, let's see. Uh, do we write back or something? There's no need to write to him again. Actually, All I wanted can... was a translation from Portuguese, but I managed without him. She used Google Translate. Maybe later. I don't think there's a reason to write this email. There's enough spam around already. A bit like people's notifications for streams. I don't think there's a reason to write this email. There's enough spam around already. All right, don't rub it in a yeah. Uh, all right, so what's next then? We changed our battery. We got our battery. We changed our battery. We did some paid paid work. Uh, and we sent emails. Now we might be able to do some streaming. Let's see. I don't think this is capable though. You have to probably get some uh, Elgato stuff on there and maybe some extra RAM and like a gamer monitor and a gaming chair. What's this? I didn't even see this cat photo. Oh, cat photo was always good. I found her when she was still a kitten. When I moved to Leon, I took her with me, but now I'm alone again. Ah. Uh. Whoa. D R N K that water. <laughs> Sup. Corey, aka the ultimate, the ultimate, the ultimate poke master. The ultimate poke master of poking, poking this. Poking and Pokemon is what Corey specializes in. So, uh, watch out, ladies. Alright, uh,. 
Oh, so yeah, we, lo we, lo we lost our, our cat ran off or what? I don't know. Our cat just... Like, had enough. Wait, what else we gotta do? Oh, we gotta call somebody, haven't we, actually? Maybe that's what we gotta do. And we gotta call, like, a... Uh, call Max. Or is it Diego? He said to text, said to text Diego, right? I'm not eager to have this conversation right not. now. I guess not. What about Max? Oh, what happened there? If he can't be reasonable, there's nothing I want to say to him. That's the X. I think. Oh wait, now I pressed this one. Max? We tried Max, didn't we? She said not yet, didn't she? Oh no, we didn't. Here we go. Hi, I'm lecturing right now. If you need something, leave a message for me. Thanks, Max. Okay, no. That's not good. I have no choice but to get the number of the university where Max is lecturing. So then what we have to call the switchboard again? How do we get a CD back to it? We need to get someone to get the, take the CD, don't we? Maybe that's what it is. Then she'll help us out. She's not going to help us out until we get... How can I help you? Do that, Hi, I this is Lara. I've got the CD for you. Where should I leave it? I would drop by to get it, but I'm really busy here. Sorry. Please, just give it to someone who can pass it on to me. Thanks a lot. Ooh. Ooh. Um. Let me just try some other numbers. I don't quick. think I need anything now. Jennings, we bother Jennings again, or is she not interested in them number? As long as the equipment works properly, I definitely don't want to call this number. Did we try Gilbert already? Gilbert and Sullivan? I don't think I need anything now. Right, this. I don't think I need anything now. Let's get out of the office. We need to give someone this phone. Not phone, CD even. So they can do our work for us. But who? Maybe one of the security guys. Wasn't we teasing the security guys about knowing somebody or other? Was it Muriel by chance? Let's exit. Let's exit and see what we can do here. Oh, so we now have now the daylight's gone. Not that one. Ah, oh, daylight's gone. There you go. All right. A bit more screen real estate. For your options is good. Since I've got the light in my face anyway. Oh, some random dude again. Or well, random chick last time around. That guy's really short. Lara's taller than him. One of these guys must take the CD. Uh... I'd better just pass him the CD for Muriel. There we go. I was given this old battery. There you go. Ah. Damn it. Let's give him the old battery. There we go. Damien, I need a favor from you. Of course, Miss Fedlova. I've got a CD here for my friend Muriel from the telephone exchange. I think you know who I mean. Could you give it to her the next time you see her? Well, I finish work before she does. Don't Something act tells me you might meet later, <laughs> after work. No, no. Someone's hiding <laughs> something from old friends. But Rene, don't be foolish. Miss Fedlova, <laughs> if you're hinting that uh, Muriel and I, uh, you know how such things are viewed at work. Relationships between co workers are frowned upon. Uh, I think we're going to react uh, positively to that. I'm not hinting at anything, but it's a small world. Perhaps you'll meet by chance. Oh, <laughs> that'd be a real One coincidence, chance? wouldn't it? Well, theoretically, it's possible. If I happen to see her, I'll pass it on to her. Thanks, Damien. <laughs> See you, Remy. I'll pass it on. I'll pass it on to her in the bed. All right, uh, in the bedroom. Uh, what's next? Oh, we call, call her back up, I guess. Now we can get her to help. Who's this guy? Good morning. Back. Oh, uh, yeah, bonjour. Bonjour. 
did that guy just come out and say, oh, you can get out as well. But use the lift here. We don't want to share it. Social distance is in. Social distance in. No. No. Uh. Oh, this hope she doesn't cough. Don't cough. Don't cough. <coughs> oh, shit. Man. That sucks. Yeah, well, we better finish the game before we get any symptoms. Right now, I think we can call uh, Muriel, right? Now we've hooked up the CD. Telephonic Inverted exchange. CD. How can I help you? Hi, Classic hits. this is Lara. I left the CD with someone you might meet at work, by sheer chance. You are a terrible snoop. How did you find out? I've got eyes, Muriel. Will the noises, you get me the number now? Hey, who do you think I am? I started looking for him as soon as you called me. He's waiting on the line, but he doesn't sound very enthusiastic. You're amazing. Let me speak to him, please. Well, what's going on? Is this some kind of a that joke? Was quick. You pulled me out of a lecture. You know how long I waited for this chance. Do you know that if things go well, this could be regular for me? Max, Ostankovich called. You've got to fly to Petersburg. Tell him I can come next Thursday. You don't understand. You must fly today as soon as possible. What? He's not kidding, Max. He's in a fix and he needs your help. If you don't go, he'll ruin you. You know he's capable yeah, of that. Yeah, he threatened so about I have to drop everything us getting violent in prison. Has got himself a problem. We both know you don't have a choice. Come back to Leon. We'll meet at the park and talk it through. I'm sorry, but there's nothing else you can do. But I... Hurry up and get the next plane. From the airport, go directly to the park. We'll meet there. See you later. Yeah, essentially, uh, Austin Kozhenich, whoever threatened that, will get violated in prison. This was in 2008. This was before such things were considered human rights. Three, 3 p.m. Monday, Lyon, France. We're in the park doing park things. Hi, so... I'm glad you... One reason. Give me one good reason why I should come running like a dog every time you or Ostankovich calls. Max, we both know the reason. You can't afford not to obey him. I made one mistake. I've helped him many times. How long will this go on? You didn't just make a mistake, Max. You made a huge mistake. You forged paintings worth millions of dollars and sold them to get-rich-quick fund managers. And you got caught. Trying to sell a Rip. forgery to the Hermitage, that's plain madness. Look, I'm grateful to you for persuading Ostankovich to keep me out of jail, but I think I've made up for it. The case can be opened again any time and he's capable of doing that. Until the file is officially closed, you have no choice. I promise that if you help him one more time, I'll do my best to get you off the hook. There's been some trouble at the Hermitage. He probably needs an expert. Well, I don't have much choice anyway, do I? Damn it, all right then, I'll go. Don't worry about your visa. You're traveling with special permission. Ostankovich has fixed it already. When it comes to manipulating the system, nobody matches my old commanding officer. Now that's always good to know. Have fun here. I'll be thinking about you. Take care. Caught between the west and the east, pulled by the leash of past sins, who holds your fate in their hands, Max? There's a shadow rising above you. It's good that you don't see it. For now. That was totally me. Just now. For now. Back in the city upon the Neva. Can you see it flowing into the distance? It will never return once it passes a place. Just like you, Max, pulled by a dark current, ending beyond the horizon. That's one big spliff. Oh, this is a cigar. Colonel Ostenkovich has no time at the moment. I believe he is already waiting for me. This guy's a bit of a scumbag, huh? I hope you had a pleasant journey. Not bad, but the one out of here will certainly be better. I see. <laughs> well, the colonel is expecting you. 
I need to hide this mouse during cutscenes though. I expected you sooner. If I had a choice, I wouldn't be here at all. You he, see that file on the mouse. table? It's your criminal record. And it says that refusing to help me could have rather dramatic consequences for you. I've helped enough for you to close the case, haven't I? Listen, Durand, we all have nightmares. Yours is needing to help us. Mine is the reason for calling you. Help me get rid of mine, and I'll get rid of yours. Then we'll both be able to sleep soundly. So that's it? The file on the table is just a copy. Take it. If you help me, you can have the original, and I'll personally take care of the computer records. Well, I don't mm. really have a choice, do I? Exactly. So now listen to me well. I won't waste time with threats. You already know what I can send you. This whole matter is top secret, so hold your tongue, got that? Sure. Last night the security system in the State Hermitage Museum stopped working for a time. Cameras, detectors, everything went blind. The external system worked, so we know nobody went in. You know how unlikely it is that everything on the inner circuit, including the backup sources, would fail? Next to impossible. Well, if something's happened there, an insider must have done it. A guard. Someone who hid himself in there. I'm certain that nobody took anything out. I was personally present during the preliminary investigation. Nothing's missing from the collection. So possibly it's an exchange. Why keep it secret? We can't go public with this. I am personally responsible for the collection. I chose the whole security system for the Hermitage. I chose the entire staff. Soon I am to receive an award for my service at the Hermitage. A medal, Jurand, from the President. But if it came to light that one of them tried to steal something in the museum... I get that, but what do you want from me? On the table, there is a permit to go into the Hermitage. I now have it guarded even from outside by a guy with the same temperament as a bulldog. Remember to be nice to him to get inside. Then phone me. And what can I do Hopefully there? Hopefully not too Leave nice. That to me. Just get into the museum and call me back. Your end. Wouldn't you like to go now? Oh, I was muted. Okay. Alright, let's go. Let's have a look around. Again, my fans are on. Two fans. It's like 25 Celsius. You're just gonna have to live with it, I guess. You're just gonna have to deal with the streaming ghetto, the ghetto, the ghetto on this stream. I can't imagine what Aston Kovic needs a globe for. The ghetto on this of streaming, man. It's just how it works. Durand, wouldn't you like to go now? Uh, Austin Koj Kokovic, would you like to shut up and let me look around? I'm trying to perform here. Yeah. Art takes time. We don't just simply leave. One doesn't simply leave after being threatened, prison, and being violated. My file. The only reason why I have to obey Austin Kovic is a. Uh, Sharing his cigar smoke with, with us without asking. Does he even offer us a cigar? It says internal communication in Cyrillic, and then there's something scribbled by hand. Take it. We can need that shit, but it's telling us to leave. A pass to oh, the hermitage. I will breath. certainly need that. Little lights going on in the background there. Little green neon light going on. Your end. Wouldn't you like to go now? I should like to punch this guy. Astankovic probably uses this to offer tea to his more important guests. Yeah, we don't even get offered no tea, no cigars. Nothing. Disrespecting us. How can he how dare he assume that we don't like first hand smoke? An old gaslighter. Probably a Russian copy of an American one. Now let's just steal it already.
First try. I'll never even know. To your end, wouldn't you like to go now? It Lost. won't be Pushkin. Perhaps a statesman. Kinda looks like him. Alright. Mm. What else do we have in here to steal? Is there anything else we can steal? Is there anything else not nailed down? Oh, stop it. Freaked out a bit there. Anything else stealable? Let's use our uh, hotspot button. And that's it, I think. Nothing else is going on. Let's get out! Yeah. Shut up! Jalant, don't you need to go somewhere else now? Don't you have other places to be? No, I don't. Oh, is that dirty? Uh, is that dirty phone numbers in the phone box there? I think it's dirty phone numbers. And it's nine o'clock as well, on the dot. This is a nice looking uh, game though, still for adventure game wise. When you max all the sentences up, bang it out in 4K. It's a very sexy. It's very sexy looking. Can we call dirty sex lines? Can we call someone's mum? Ah, the 1500. I've read about it. This tinny beast could be a hundred years old for all I know, but when the temperature hits minus 30, it's certainly the right car for the job. I want to call someone's mum at work, but it doesn't look like we can call any sex lines, so I guess we can't. Uh, that's a shame. Missed opportunity. <sighs> no sex line calls for us. There's some nice lighting going on in this as well. Look at this here, when these cars go by. Look at that, see, look. The cars change the light there. This is pretty nice. I don't think I was able to run it like this back in the day. Obviously, like 2008, 4K, there was no such thing. 4K was a half 8-pack. Or a half 6-pack, or a quarter 6-pack, I guess. There was no such thing as 4K. But, uh, yeah. Obviously, guys get it in 1080p, but you're getting 4K quality. It's like checkerboard streaming. It's checkerboard streaming you're getting here. I should, like, charge you money. I should, like, charge you money. It's such high quality. Uh, I'm going to save in case something happens. Because I play, I played a... Uh, I played Deadly Premonition. <laughs> I played Deadly Premonition, so I'm, I'm safe prone now. Scott for life. Where are we supposed to go next? There's no exit place. That is, that's a good run. How do I get out of here? To, oh, here we go. What's this? Oh, this is on the bench. Alright, I guess we're going to the... Is that that's where we are now, militia? Go to the Hermitage Museum of Museumness. Let's try and figure out how this uh, thing got uh, stolen. Metal sculpture. Modern art has always fascinated me. To create things, you only need a garage, a blowtorch, and a pile of junk. Some artists want to express only the essential things. I wonder what Lara would think of this philosophy of art. Again, we'll say nothing. These pieces aren't bad as it goes, actually. It's Jeff Ashes. The simplicity of shapes in contrast to the historic courtyard of the Winter Palace. I think I know what the artist wanted to say. It's just a policeman to stand out in the rain. I feel bad for him. The program of events at the Hermitage. Uh, tap key. Just you. It looks like the guard isn't very enthusiastic about his duty. He's obviously quite cold. He's holding an unlit cigarette. He's cold. He's got an unlit cigarette and he hasn't got a Nintendo Switch and it's raining. Feels bad. I need to get inside. I don't care what you need. You mustn't go any further. 
how about we show you our oh let's give him a lighter for his wet cigarette let's try our permit I can go in I have a permit sure yeah, I'll biatch. Well, I doubt that I'm standing here all night long looking forward to smoking another one in the rain and cold so that the damned American could have a private nocturnal tour I'm French French <laughs> German or American <laughs> I don't give a damn. There's something strange about this permit. And nobody told me to let anybody inside. Look, I don't enjoy being here any more than you do, but unfortunately, just like you, I have no choice. We don't have to make life difficult for each other, do we? This permit is issued by your superior. I think you should do what it says. So, now you're telling me what to do. Like I said before, this permit is just a shred of drenched paper, and nobody told me to expect visitors. Unless somebody gives me different orders, it's too bad for you. We we'll have to beat him up. Oh, he's lucky. He's about to get Austin beat up. Kovic. Can't he leave me alone for a second? Negative. Oh. I was gonna speak to him. <laughs> Gosh darn it. Uh... Oops. We better call him back. Oh, he's got a more modern phone. I'm out front, but I've got a problem. The guard won't let me in. Of course he won't just let you in. Show him the permit. Use your brain. We've done that already, but I have shown dumb. <laughs> he hung up. Damn. What now? Oh, what the hell? Ostankovich. Can't he leave me alone for a second? Yet. I'm out front, but I've got a problem. The guard won't let me in. Of course he won't just let you in. Show him the permit. Shut up, we did this already. Oh. Damn it. Stop it. Don't call me anymore. Don't call me anymore now. That's the same thing we just did that. This guy's got Alzheimer's or something. Stop it. Alright, uh, how about, how about a light? Be a wet cigarette. Would you like a light? I'm really sorry that you're stuck here, but if you think you're the only one Ostankovich jerks around, you're wrong. You can go home and sleep in the morning. I don't have it so easy. Let me inside. Look at you all the RTX light effects. Genuine. Okay then. Just go. Eh, what a life. All you need is a light. Ah. <sighs> The way to a man's heart. Cancer. Especially when you're wet. Uh, this is quite the place. Oh, boobies. Terms of service. Terms of service. Uh, at least they're dry ones. Let's look up this way. Smart device. You must give permission to connect Darkness your device everywhere. to this TV. A storm Deny. Outside. Who's that? I can think of more pleasant places to spend the night. I'm curious what Ostankovich wants me to do here. To find out, I should call him. I dare someone try and connect to my television from probably the, the apartment below or something. How dare they? I don't want to see their homemade porn. I'm good. Uh, ancient vase. Look at my homemade porn, bro. Um, I'm alright. I don't want to see. Third, perhaps fourth century before Christ. A nice piece. Original, most likely. Got some music as well, huh? I need to go pee. Take this amphora, for example. Even if it was fake, how could I tell in the dark? 
Ostankovich must have gone nuts. <laughs> Nobody's going to steal this, really. I'd bet my life on that. Too big? Or too fake? Petersburg's out there. Ostankovich's realm. Mm. I don't think I want to open the window. It's raining outside and it will be locked. Well, we had to try. The science. Um, let me just check. Yeah. Oh, wait there. Can we light that up? Oh, that's the window. That's the window. All right. I thought it was the thing. I was going to put a fire in that. That'd be pretty shitty considering it's meant to be a piece. I think the guy would be very happy. Austin Cox, bitch, I mean. Oh. I absolutely need to go wee, guys. BRB, I need to go wee. Might be a poor P. Like all kinds of cool kind of rhymes. Uh, where's there no time showing? What is going on today? Welcome to part seven of your daily dose of. I'm gonna quickly snack as well. Where bastardos? You can't see our face in the top um, left there because no we time are. Time showing. What's going on today? Peter Dinklage, basically. Where's my timer? Short and stature, but badass. Dude, We're doing really well, actually. Working. So this uh, should be a good part. Part 7 What's should be going the win. On? I'm sure. Why is my timer oh. not working? One of many wins. Building up a good amount of ammo and everything. Wait there. Uh, good amount of stuff. Wait there. Building loads of Kinda things. Kind of BRB screen no timer. And let's just continue. And I'll... That we can make the decisions. My seconds in my in our life. Minutes in my seconds in my minutes. And in general. I've got internet. Also, right? yeah. I've got, of course I've got internet. I'll be streaming. There we go. I was in the, the site can't be reached. Voice no. mode. <laughs> Other than voice mode. <laughs> no. Uh, Please. Right, so what have got here? Gem spiker <laughs> health. How's our health? Near four. Oh man, I ain't got no timers. Uh, Sight's down. New traits, that's All what right. we're going to do. Nice time, time I provided now. sites down, so you guys are just gonna have to. Happen to have lots of hold shotgun out for a few minutes. Ammo, so. And trust that I'll be back at some well, point in the, in the future. So, uh, that this resembles up. five to ten minutes. I'll be back. Maybe. Uh, I mean, why not? Could do with more of these. I'll get out of the world to return to the mod. I think I get this gun now. So it's a teleportation gun, basically. I'm gonna turn you down a little bit. There we go. You know, I left you up last time around, but today you sound louder. Uh, yeah, should be fun. Getting the swing of things now. We're getting a good rhythm. It's took a few parts. Getting familiar with the mechanics and stuff. I think we're on the arm straight. I'm getting that same sort of a feeling I got with Borderlands. Game of the Year edition, where I'm kind of just uh, finding myself naturally just playing this one straight, which is always a good sign with games, I'd say. When you can just play a game straight, without too many breaks in between, that's a good sign. That's a mark of a good game. And this is a good game. Oh no. No power. We gotta go right first. Oh yes, I was looking for my safe. Is that the explodies? There's something behind me. Wait, wait, wait. And no, we're not crouched. <laughs> the bloody spawn there. Right, where's this? How is this way? This is a nasty room. 
Now we go for the map. He's all eyes at the same time as well. I'm like that ectoplasm looking thing. Oh! Let's get shot in the back. Can we lock this room up permanently? Kinda. It's got spawn there. I don't want it. Can't lock up. By maximum cooperation to WCG guards is punishable by genital torture. In genital torture. Subsection 484. Alright. Oh gosh, we're all up. What's this? Oh, we got. Oh, it's um. I know what that stuff is now. It's a uh, toxin. Got a toxin symbol there. Taking health off us. That sucks. That sucks. That's the first time we've come across that. that I'm aware of. Oh, I'm down. Fuck off. They run off those guys. That bitches. Now I'm oiled. Do we have the merits for this? 50, wow. That's a serious amount of merits. And I'm going the wrong way. Alright, whatever. We're gonna use our eyes. And ears. We'll be fine. And we're awed again. Need to find more stuff. Deposit. For the merits. How much have we got now? Have we got enough? Damn oil. Nah, no in there. Lunch force rehabilitation session. Now commencing in the therapy lounge. Therapy lounge, eh? Oh, now we've got enough. I'll watch the air as well as ever, even though we've got the upgrade now, so it's pretty we're pretty good, generally. Good stuff. Score. Try and get close because this gun does more damage at close. It's like, like a shotgun. These things keep running away though. Obviously less bullets we use, the more bullets we save. Oh, it's not oil. It's the toxin. It's the toxicness. Toxicity of the uh, chat. I mean the... Uh, <laughs> I joking. Of our body at the moment. We are toxin. This toxic stuff's not nice. We not like it. There's a toxin cleaner thing there. We can uh, hook up. Got a ghosty. Another camera. I think he's dead, but he did hit us though. I hear it, I don't see it. Ow. I say about that we're not crouching here, guys, because I sometimes forget myself that we're not. Why not ensure you I'm also pressing the crouch button and see like that. That's the crouch for this guy. Never had to use this thing. Yeah, so it's, oh, it's camera. Shit. No. No, there's a the camera. I think it's coming that way, on the left. Oh no, no, we locked this, didn't we? Why is it yellow? Is it poisoned? Screw that in. 
They can open doors anyway, though, so I know what I'm locking it for. Uh, map is this way, let's continue on this way. Poison there. That's the exit. Just trying to avoid the crap. There's a camera. Maximum cooperation to WCG guards is punishable by genital removal. Cameras with subsection 484F. Oh, it's over there. I just saw it. I can shoot it from there. Oh, it's near us. The bot's near us. There it is. Look, it's almost dead though. I don't know if it can see us. 80% of the time went out of ammo scroung scroungers. Another clip from somewhere. Pirates take twice as long to fix location on board. It's diminutive with Skulker. It's brawny with Gormand. Food is shown on the map. Nah. Twice as long. Take the ammo on. Alright. Take the scrounger. <clears throat> Better empty. Damn thing. Can get poisoned though. Stomach semi full. Interestingly. Uh, I haven't got a long range gun on me yeah. right now. No long range gun, gun but we've got a lighter at least. And light. So let's continue, Sean. Oh, boobies. Watch out. I know who painted these paintings, when they were painted, what colors were used. But whether one of them is a forgery, no way. Not without specialized equipment. Don't do that. I'm gonna block you guys from the... sparing you guys from the fan noises. That AC noise. The rest of the corridor is closed off. According to what it says here, the exhibition will be open again in 14 days. Restoration work is in progress. Yes, I can see an empty wall at the end of the corridor. It's useless, no point to it. What the hell does he think I'll find here? It's high time I call Astankovich and tell him that this whole undertaking is absurd. Hmm. That was show him. Same thing we just read. Are we gonna legitimately call him right now then? I think we are. I think we are. I don't have a signal. Is there anything I'm missing here? The rest of the corridor is closed. According to what it says here, a painting restoration is taking place. What the heck does Ustankovich think? That I can just look at the painting and tell it's a fake right away? Hmm. Well, we can't get signals, so that means we need to go probably back out here. Hmm. You could do it a little quicker, huh? The signal is too weak in this place. I'm going back outside then. We ain't got nothing else we can do here right, right now, have we? <coughs> and it's cell phone, yeah. It's not a Esquadra.
Can you see? I what? I have something or whatever. I can maybe. What? I can't go out. Oh, he won't leave. What are we supposed to do then? We're stuck. We are stuck. I don't think I want to open the window. Mm. Trying to light this isn't a good idea. Mm. Mm. Stuck and stumped. Ah, no, that don't make sense. Why would I burn that? This is a moon logic time. Mm. Huh? I'll keep the cell phone for calling people, okay? All right, be that way. I am stuck. Anyone know? Otherwise it might be internet time already. We are stuck. Literally nothing. Can't go out apparently. Can't use the phone. Ostankovich lights his cigars with a lighter. What else can I say? Mm. A permit issued by Ostankovich. That's about as useless as the paper it's on. Well, I guess we're stuck, so... I think I remember being stuck around here before as well. Such is life. Uh... Oh, near the window. Alright, nice one, Jay. There we go. Yeah, nice one. Nice one, fella. <sighs> well, at least I can get a strong enough signal here to make a phone call. Let's hope it doesn't fade. Oh. Hmm, that wasn't the best idea. Lara will be asleep by now. Ah, no booty call. No, don't take out the light. Uh, it takes I don't so think long. I want right. to. We're just going to call who we need to call because it takes long to swap it out. Hmm. 
Well, at does least it, I can get a Does it in real life speed? What took you so long? Look, I've had a look around and I really can't understand why this couldn't have waited till morning. The only thing that looks suspicious is the closed corridor in the Hall of Peter the Great. But you would know about that anyway. What happened to the painting? The day before yesterday, the frame of the painting was damaged. Fortunately, the canvas survived and the work is being restored. Probably a vandal. Could it be related to yesterday's system crash? Maybe it was a test to check how well the security system works. I must say it sounds intriguing. I'll definitely have it looked into. So, we can talk about this like reasonable people. And you'll forget about that idea. To be here. Duran? Hello, are you there? What's going on? Duran! Stop! Hey, stop! Duran, stop. Uh oh. What was mm. that? Someone's there. Well, he was wearing a onesie as well. What? Oh. Somebody ran through here a moment ago and knocked down the barriers, but now he's gone. The corridor leads to the Hall of Peter the Great and doesn't go any further. That's really strange. The person must have disappeared there. Oh, very strange. What's going on here? Someone ran by me a moment ago and I don't think he could walk through walls. Yeah, this was 2008, so it's before people could run, run through walls. So it must be something else going on. I can't see much to examine here. There was a painting here. It's no longer here. It's simple. And it's too dark to see more details of the wall. Boom. A bit of light could help. Look at that. The Pretty flame. Cool. There's a draft coming from the bottom of the wall. Sure, there must be a secret door in this wall. But how will it open? Something's telling me the gap at the bottom of the wall has something to do with opening the secret door. Hmm. There's a gap here. Surely helps me to open the secret door. Secret the gap under the door is too narrow. Normal. My fingers won't go through. I need something thinner. Secret secret doors are pretty normal in museums, by the way. Not, not this, surely. Uh, what's this? I think we're ready to do puzzles, aren't we? There is air blowing near the floor. There is a gap. I can't just open the secret door that easily. But we're gonna try it on this. Okay, no. I can't tell much about the paintings. Not like this, without special equipment. This is impossible. The chances of recognizing a forgery are nil under these conditions. Hmm. Um. Hmm. There's some reflections going on in as well. Ah, right. Oh, how about this. Oh. An iron hook on which to hang a rope. I can't unscrew it, it's too tight. Gosh darn it. Moon logic, no. Ostankovich lights. No, 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 no. Paper, moon logic, no. Uh, this rope keeps visitors from going where they shouldn't. Oh, well, it did. A strong piece of rope. Maybe I'll need it. I need this now. 
I can't unscrew it. It's too tight. Hmm. Ah. Let's try skills. Do I need the other one as well? I can't. Whoa. Oh, we got full 3D like that? What? That's a lot more impressive adventure games in a way, isn't it? This rope keeps visitors from going with a strong piece of rope. Maybe I'll need it. Oh, we even got a grabbing animation or everything there. Pretty cool. More rope. Dragging a heavy metal post around the gallery doesn't strike me as a good idea. You never know, man. Moon logic and all that. Right, so is that on load here? It is. So we've got this MacGyver stuff now. Are we attaching this to, to one of these? Or? A thin hook removed from a pole in the corridor. A piece of rope taken from a post in the gallery. It looks quite strong. Hmm. All right, let's uh, go back there. Now, where will the secret door lead to? That's enough to open it, that little thing. They're not that big. I'm a save. I can't remember if this has got deaths in it or not. It sounds death worthy. Did I load the game or save? Because this is locked again for some reason. Oh, wait. oh, there we go. The door closed itself automatically. If oh, someone no. attacks me here, Ostankovich and his people won't ever find out. Oh no, don't say that. This would be the mechanism that opens the door from inside. Looks like it was fixed recently. Oh, it works. Oh, okay. Oops. It's a bit rusty. I can't do much about it. I'm actually not sure what these rotten rags were supposed to insulate. Surprisingly, the rags are quite obviously. dry. I'll see if I can use them for something. Hmm. I don't want to burn them. The insulation would certainly burn well, but to start a fire and get burned? That doesn't seem a good idea to me. Fair enough. Uh, what's that bracket? I need to loosen this somehow. Old pipes, secured with a metal bracket. Yes, some... Some hook. Ness. Some rope ness. A piece of rope taken oh, no, no, from no, 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 no. some fireness. A thin hook removed no. from a no no no. I'm sure I can find a better way. Are 
just I need to hands. loosen this somehow. We need to find something somewhere else first. Uh, what's that? Stone. Like a it toy block. A stone from the floor. That will do the trick. Let's bash things. Let's create uh, criminal damage. It's very stony. If I want to use it, I should have a closer look. And bosh, bosh, and bish. There we go. Now that's done. Give me that shit. Can we turn this now? Do we want to turn this? Does this not nothing to do with us anymore? Nothing to do with us anymore. Yeah. All right. We Audi. Oh no 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 no! Let's cancel that. Oh my goodness, that was close. I could have got killed. <laughs> Don't know that this game has deaths. I can't remember. Why hasn't ladder. this happened to the person who was here before me? Luck is really not on my side. I'm not climbing down there before I fix the ladder. Oh, right, we'll just do some simple repairs. Just take out this rope here, but tie it there to that there. And then I'll just do a knot there. And then if I uh, get this other one, I'm just a. Uh... Oh, is that literally it? MacGyver. Is that enough? I'm not going into the dark. Who knows what the oh. ladder's like? What if it suddenly ends in the dark before it reaches the bottom? He wants to drop it down so we know how far it is. Is the lighter on it? The flame is too small for me to see all the way down in the dark. Oh, right, we've really got to make a torch. I climb down with a lighter in one hand. I think we've got to make a torch. A nice torch. It probably won't burn for long, but it should help to see what's down the ladder. There we go. It's like real life. Easy. YouTube shreds. Oh, get that cursor out of the way. They should hide the cursor though. Oh, it's safe. Good thing no one was standing on underneath. At first glance, it looks safe down there. And the corridor goes further. Imagine if you just throw it down, there's like a guy down, down there smoking a spliff. It's just like, boom! Be like, why you do this, you bastardos? Yeah, you you out my spliff with that and bang my head. Why you why you why you fing do this? No you're fuck you fing Hey you know you're fing Yeah, thankfully though, no one's down there. They'll go out in a moment, I should hurry up. It's not really gonna go out, is it? It doesn't look like there was somebody hiding behind it. Only one way we can go. <laughs> Let's do it. Oh, told you he was wearing a onesie. Hey, stay where you are. Don't come any closer. I mean it. Wasn't that loose ladder enough? Freeze. Step away from the painting. It's called or a tattoo on his face. <laughs> that wasn't the best idea. Shit. Put us under pressure. Stop! Don't move! Damn. I hope he's not armed. 
Question. You don't have anywhere to run. All the exits are guarded. You don't stand a chance. Neither you nor the police can stop me. Damn, this doesn't lead anywhere. His voice is very intimidating. Leave the painting where it is. Nine, Max Tuesday. should have contacted me Update ages him. ago. He's been away for more than a day. Where are you, Max? He's Dad. dead. Couldn't swim, you see. Svetlova, SWOA. It's Pierre here. Please, Lara. Well, well, look who's calling now. Maybe you should show up for work sometime. The analysis I did for you yesterday. Oh, voice. It's a bit of a problem. You should just quite well. I didn't see it myself because I'm still away, but my boss is angry. She said it's a lousy job considering what a trifle it was. What? You didn't do quite so well on that one. I didn't get to see it myself because I'm still away. And I'm sorry, Pierre. I tried. We got it wrong? Well, it's even worse. That rat Demer told her that you did it. So Charlotte is mad at you especially. But it wasn't my job at all. I know I told her that, but you should be able to do it with your qualifications, huh? Fortunately, you have another chance. I need your help again in the lab. Pierre, are you crazy? I have enough work already. Okay, let's have a deal. You worked in the States, right? Could you find out some police details on the death of Professor Abramchikov? Sure, why not? I still have some contacts. Why don't you claim it by yourself as an official Interpol request? No, it is actually not an official matter. I just have bad feeling. I knew him personally. Oh, I'm sorry. I will check it out, of course. May take a bit because I'm not in Lyon at the moment. Okay, looks like we have a deal. You send me what you figured out on Abramchikov, and I will solve your little problem in the lab. What do you need? There's a new chromatograph in the lab. Charlotte wants to have an analysis of the forgery to get more information. Demer will do the analysis, but you have to calibrate the chromatograph. Well, it shouldn't be a problem. Well, I think I'll manage with the handbook. Oh, hello. The manual is missing, but I'm sure you can handle this. The basic instructions are in the database. I have to run. Bye for now. Pierre. Pierre. Damn it. Busy work. At least Pierre put some information on the chromatograph for me in the database. As far as I know, Pierre, that should be helpful. Ah. Yes, from the talker file. Now, basic procedures and environment. Please take into consideration that the XD version is designed to operate in the interior. The sand temperatures and humidity are on type 2. I say that Penexa using the machine, different conditions can lead to inaccurate results and all damage to the device. Set the accelerator for specifications according to Appendix B. New devices are recommended to use the lowest accelerator sentence for at least the first 25 measurements. In default emission mode, Free. The device doesn't report deviations from those standard conditions. What? Of the measurement, check the values by an external method. Ascertain them. Oh my gosh, this is like an actual manual, but like a bad one. Hold on a second. It's gonna be a guide to the rescue here. That does not help us at all. What does any of that even mean? I don't get it. She's doing that herself, by the way. Hey there, who am I supposed to be calling? The lab? I don't think I need anything now. Who am I calling? She did that herself. I didn't press anything. Muriel did I? is nice. But she's a bit too talkative. I'll call her when things calm down and I have more time. Did I? Did she? I, didn't I don't anything, think yeah. I need anything now. Why did she go here? 
as long as the equipment works. I don't think I need anything. Okay, that was now. weird. I, I, let's call this. Ah, that was weird. Maybe it was like a, a weird click. I probably should have took a screenshot of the uh, that menu, but it looks like it looks like Chinese now, mixed with Japanese and Spanish to me. Our new chromatograph. I hope it lasts longer than that wreck we had before. Look at them reflections and everything. Oh my word. You've got to be kidding me. Warning. At the first calibration of the device, it is necessary to choose the calibration protocol 3. Three. Okay. Warning. Is it plugged in? Chromatograph socket. Without the electric cable. There's no reason for it to be turned off. Mm hmm. Always check the plug first. Like this. Uh oh. I should press run now. Oh, press run now. Where's run? I think I should run now myself. Run? That one. The one free, I think. Oh no, what was the collaboration protocol? Is it two? Oh no. Oh my. Well, I didn't really shine on this one. Oh no, I actually took a picture of the thing. I think there's gonna be literal numbers we'll put in. Well, I thought it best to turn the chromatograph off. I have to quit run upstairs to take a uh, picture of the uh, information. Like I should have done the first time. Hmm. Let's see how I just knew they they couldn't be original. I'll send it on. What? Oh, is it a different job then? Let's say we did a bad job. I'm confused. Alright, um Wait, where's the the Oh no, where's the Oh database, database, save it. Alright, let's get let's get a selfie, shall we? Hmm. Okay. We have a selfie, it's a good one. I think it will get a couple of likes. Especially when you drop it. Hmm. Uh, not phone rip. Right now we're okay. Hold on. Yeah. Right, let me get this chocolate off my finger. <laughs> Sliver for the whim. Whoa, 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 what did I just do? Oh, it ended. Oh, what's going on? I'm doing things I don't intend to do. It's still alive, okay, good. Hmm. 
It's a bit sick. Uh, Lara's got different clothes on, isn't she? Maybe she's got different clothes on. That's pretty cool if she has, unless I'm mistaken. Let's well plug it back in. No, we don't have to plug it in, switch it on then. Run rabbit free. That's some stuff by accident. He's into collaboration protocol. What's collaboration protocol? Mm. Immunity. Maybe it was meant to be two first. Uh, accelerator comes in and expands. B. Lower six zero six to at least first twenty five million. Three. I have two, and that's it. Let me try two first. Acceleration a specification number. According to Appendix B. What's Appendix B? And then I picked two. Okay, so this one here acceleration to specification. I don't know. Well, I didn't. No, I, I don't know. The buttons don't respond. I don't already say it. The but. The but. The buttons don't. The but. The Gosh buttons. Darn it. Well, I thought it best to turn. Warning. At the first calibration of the device, it is necessary to choose the calibration protocol 3. Hmm. I'm not sure what the last one is if it, it assuming the other two are even right. Oh no, there's like extra ones. <laughs> Man. Well, I didn't no, really shine no, I'm on not this seeing one. This. this I see like three numbers here, twenty-five measurements. I see environment two. And then something that says default niche it's an niche default niche mode is free. And it says environment type two. I said in appendix A. It might be time to uh, get the internet going again. Well, I didn't really Too shine many combinations on this one. to guess it. Awful manual. Mm. 
Well, I didn't really shine on this one. Five, five. One more random guess, or kind of semi-random. Oh, it says one to three, so that doesn't make sense. Well, I didn't really shine right. on this one. You win game. That manuals you can us as crap. We give up. Is my thing working again as well? What's that? It's, oh, it's up now, so the timers will work now. Okay, uh. Cheating time for sanity and then entertainment reasons. Two, three, one, three. I don't know. Alright. Let's try. Let's try. Figure it out ourselves. Good. That's that done. Next time we should insist on a manual along with a machine. It would help. I meant that database thing is crap. Absolute crap. Uh, seems I should check my email inbox. This is before you could check email on your phone. That in 2008, didn't they? Delete that nonsense puzzle. It really looks like it was a tragic coincidence. Professor, you didn't deserve such an end. How many times did I tell you that those night walks would be the death of you? Mm. I don't know, it wasn't that complicated in the end. I'm forwarding an email from a former colleague, Pierre. Pierre, you'll only, you only write when you need something. Um, Abram Chikov, as a secretary told us, suffered from severe insomnia and very often he would get up at night and go for a walk. Therefore, his visit to the Vip Park doesn't seem suspicious. Only that in the rain, the three kilometer walk is rather ex exact, exacting for an old man. That's probably the reason why he fell over the banister and into the water. It's been confirmed the death was caused by drowning and there were no signs of violence. Also, the coroner's report does not contain any dis discrepancies. There were no witnesses except for a drunk homeless man who shouted something about a black limousine. But he also babbled the coming of the Lord of Death and other nonsense, probably. And just by alcohol of use, so it was a wine or that sort of stuff. Or oh, Belgian. The case was closed closed as death by Mr. Avenger. So please help your friend. Take care and say hello to your wife for me, John. There you go. Remember they said to make it look like an accident? Colonel Ostankovich is on the phone. Yeah, we better answer because it's usually when you don't you have to, have to do it again. Good morning, Colonel. Did you find anything? Laura? Max had an accident. I think you should know. An accident? What What accident? Is he all right? He found some long-forgotten underground area in the Hermitage. He shouldn't have gone there at all. And what happened to him? He fell into the water there. We found him shortly Someone's... after that happened. Someone needs oh to fix God. a cancer. I'm Is not he alive? Him. It would be best if you came here at once. Come to my office. I must go now. Ostenkovich! Is he alive? What's the matter with him? Ostankovich! Oh my god! Ostankovich! Ostankovich is a good guy. 11 a.m. was it? Yeah, 11 a.m. isn't it? Tuesday. Oh no, wait a no. Next day, 4 5 p.m. Pittsburgh, Russia. I got on the first plane. What's the matter with him? Is he alive? He's in the intensive care unit. He hasn't woken up yet. 
Apparently, he was under the water for some time, and the doctors are afraid of potential brain damage from oxygen deprivation. Fortunately, the water was ice cold. That slowed down his vital functions. Perhaps if someone he knows was around, it might help us to wake him up. And how did it this actually guy. happen? He called me from the hermitage, but the call was cut off. We went to investigate. We couldn't find him. It was as if he had vanished into thin air. In the morning, we got a report from a patrol who had found a body in an outlet on the shore of Niva. We identified him immediately. He must have got there from the hermitage cellars, where the most precious works of art were stored in the war. But why did he venture there on his own? It's a miracle he survived. Someone up there must really like him. It seems strange that he would just hang up to go to examine the cellars. That's not like Max. At the moment, there's nothing. Hang on. Ostankovic. Yes, of course. Can he be moved? Good, thanks. The hospital? Yes, he's over the worst of it. He even came to his senses for a while. There doesn't seem to be any long-term damage. Now we need to get him somewhere peaceful and quiet. Thank God. We could take him to my old flat. When I'm in France, only my aunt lives there. That's not a bad idea. I'll arrange it. He's really lucky. If he hadn't gone to the Hermitage in the first place, he wouldn't need luck. You just won't stop, will you? If your attitude... Look, he's waking up. Where am I? What happened? Shh, don't tire yourself out. You're safe. Everything is all right. Am I in Petersburg? What are you doing here? You had an accident in the Hermitage. For a while, it didn't look so good for you, so I had her come here. The Hermitage? I wanted to call you. Oh my god! That monk! There was a man there! He's delirious. He was all alone in the building. No! No, you don't understand. There was a man in monk's clothes, and he was taking a painting by Delaroche, the one that should hang in the gallery. I followed him, and he found the secret passage. But then he escaped. A monk? I should call the hospital and find out if these could be hallucinations or memory problems. This Head guy. trauma can cause that. He could hardly have hallucinated the secret passage. And as for the painting, better check that there isn't a forgery hanging in your gallery. <laughs> of course, but I'll have to arrange it in a way that doesn't cause too much stir. In any case, I won't need you here any longer. You can go back to Leo. I'd rather stay with him until he recovers more. Your concern for him is certainly touching. But your presence here could draw the attention of Interpol to what happened here. You don't have to worry about him. He's important to me. I'll look after him myself. How touching. Good animations. Nice. Max, what did we get ourselves into? Take care of yourself here. When you wake up, I'll be back in Leon. I will tell my aunt that you will stay here for a few days. Hmm. Tea urn. An old family keepsake. I remember my mum making tea for me in it. Russian dolls. Pian, pian, piano, piano, piano. I used to play, but that was ages ago. I'd better not even try. Mm. Into aunt's room. My aunt, dad, and I never had a lot of kitchenware, so there's probably just a lot of junk. Get out of the house, get out. Computer. My good old console. Not top of the range, but at console. least it's hooked to the internet. 
I remember when we first got the internet connection. I used to sit here for two days straight without sleep. So much information all in one place. I remember. Uh, so much information, so much possibilities. Um, I don't know if she called it console. I'll look at my messages when I get to Leon. There's no reason to add to my stress before the journey. Flying is stressful enough. Guy's got some serious control of make us take flights in the instant. Oh. I'd better let him sleep. I didn't realize him there. <laughs> notebook. My old notebook. From back when I didn't use PDAs and other gadgets. Why not in my case? Alright, let's go speak to Aunt. Oh. When I was little, my aunt would put my hair in plaits in front of this mirror. I can still remember it. Hmm. Look at mom over there, aren't you with us, uh, stick there? That's how you turn off the televisions right there. I like my aunt, but her world is full of ghosts and the supernatural. Well, I guess it's too late to try to change her. <laughs> Old dog and all that. Don't tell her we said that. A Russian doll. My aunt never really recovered from Sergei's death. No wonder. She lost her only son. Perhaps that's why she refuses to let go of all that occult nonsense. Mm. Oh my word, because she's watching. I've already offered to buy a decent TV for her. Oh, like would uh, she agree? It's the exorcist? No, the exorcist. Yeah, the exorcist. Isn't it? Kind of looks like it. That was creepy, man. Wow. Her son bought her this from the Congo when he was there with his unit. It's one of the few things of his that she has. she's watching food. She's worse than Twitch viewers. Is it the Exorcist one again? That creepy house, it's like the ring. It's like Ringu. Auntie is a bit strange. She withdrew a lot after Sergei was killed in Afghanistan. Oh, cards, I missed the cards. My tarot readings were never favorable. Moreover, their predictions usually came true. It's a good amount of uh, stations, uh, previews that they got on this. I think it's a quite visually impressive, uh, one of the better looking uh, adventure games, I'd say. Especially for 3D in there. Good shadows, it's like some real time lighting and shadows going on. It's a pretty good engine. I want to see the crazy eyes again. But... It's not like they're coming up. No crazy eyes. Auntie is a bit strange. No. Nah. No more crazy eyes. He looks a bit like Sergei, don't you think? Although he was a bit taller and had fair hair. Maybe a little bit. So you don't mind him staying here for a while? Of course not. You have feelings for him, don't you? I feel responsible for him. He's in this mess because of me. There's something strange about him. But I think you would make a nice couple. You think so? Max and me? No, it would never work, I'm sure. You are too transparent, my little girl. How on earth can you be a policewoman? You're the only one who takes me for a little girl these days. But let's stop this. You will look after him, won't you? And don't scare him, no cards. The cards were good for your grandma, your mama, and for me too. Perhaps you should change your mind about them. Don't mess with that voodoo. We've been through this before. Let's leave it for another day, shall we? I've got to go now. Take care. Uh, stretch. Uh.
I think creepy eyes are coming. Creepy eyes coming. Is it coming? Wait for it. Wait for it. I think they got television reflection as well. Oh. That really nice looking reflections and everything. If you think about how this looks, like this is how, considering the type of game it is, this is how Deadly Premonition 2 could be, be, be looking and how Deadly Premonition 1 could have been looking really, even as an open world or like at least, at least kind of like a, a percentage of this. This is, this is 2008. I think this is like 2010 version. 2010 Deadly Premonition 1. Looks really rough. Looks better in 2, but there's so much technical issues. I don't know what's going on with that. Alright then. Looks like we just got to get out. I'm not getting the eyes. I'll definitely come and visit my aunt again. Take care, Max. Dreams. Windows into other worlds into pleasant memories, into the darkest corners of the conscience. We don't choose dreams. They choose us. Are you finally up and about? You are always a world-class sleeper, but a whole day? That's impressive even by your standards. And I see you haven't lost your taste for childish humor. How did you get here, Andre? Lara called me. She said my big brother was on the verge of dying. So naturally, I jumped on the first plane here. I was worried I might need to donate my blood or a kidney or something, but here you are, sleeping away. You shouldn't have come. I'm up to my neck in something scary. Still the overprotective older brother, eh? <laughs> I took time off and I'm staying here until you go home. I'm being forced into this by the cops. And you know why. I can't just leave. Well, that's another reason for me to stick around and keep you out of trouble. I'm staying and that's final. Now, how about getting some fresh air? It'll do you good. I had a terrible dream. Do you remember how you fell into the lake? It's a bad omen. To tell the truth, I've got better memories. And you can't scare me away with talk of bad omens either. Now, move it. We won't get anywhere by standing around chatting. And now it's one thing after the other. What do they want from you? Well, it'll take a long time to explain. Do you have anything to drink here? I haven't had a drop since I landed. Damn it, Andre. How do you manage to make everything seem so banal? Make yourself at home, brother, and tell me everything. You're driving me crazy. Good. There were two break-ins in the Hermitage on two consecutive nights. On top of that, I was there at the time of the second break-in. Sure. And you finished off your party with the thieves with a nice cool bath. Lara told me all about it. Hmm. In any case, at the last moment, I caught a glimpse of the stolen painting. The Christian Martyr by Paul de la Roche. That's a great clue. 
Now all you have to do is find out who would be interested in the work of art. That's just it. Hundreds of traffickers and collectors would be interested in such a painting. It's just too large a group of people. Hey, don't think like a policeman. After all, you sold paintings yourself. Think like a criminal. Are you going to hold that over me for the rest of my life? Wait, Andre, you are right. This could really lead us somewhere. I just need to find out who specializes in the 19th century. I still have the email address of an old contact, Malvin. He should be able to gather some interesting information. Exactly, because the seller will need an expert to assess the work. See, you'll figure it out yourself in the end. Let's get down to work now. Thanks. You really helped me. Please hold on a second. Let me write the mail to Malvin, and then I will come back to you. I have something else on my mind to talk about. But that will have to wait until next time. I'm gonna go and drink loads of water, pour cold water on my face, and eat food. So thank you for watching. And, uh, yeah. Stay dry. Stay dry. It's like basically three times. Why? What is going on today? Why is nothing working? Must be the heat.